out. He says when the fire broke Wednesday afternoon in the canyon right below his house, he armed himself with a fire extinguishing hose from his pool, but it was no match. He says the fire raced up the hill like a tornado and he had just minutes to leave. All of a sudden the wind kicked up, blew embers, smoke right in my eyes and uh, blew the water right back in my face. And next thing I know, there's fire on both sides of me. There are two different overnight evacuation centers set up right now in Auburn and one over in Grass Valley. Both cities also have animal shelters available. Now we are expecting our next update from Cal Fire this morning at 7. That's when we should have a much better idea of how much more damage was caused on this fire's unforgiving path overnight. And we should also get a better idea from fire officials at what we can expect from fire conditions throughout the day. Back to you, Bria. Yeah, Lena, we can see some of that damage behind you now that the sun is up, but we will stay with Lena and Monica all hour long. Thank you, ladies. We'll check in in just a little bit. For those needing to go to a place to be safe from the river fire, there are three evacuation sites set up. Those are Nevada Union High School, Bear River High School, and the Nevada County Fairgrounds. You can find a full list of evacuations for the river fire and other fire resources at abc10.com. Just scan the QR code, which is at the bottom of your screen right now using the camera on your phone. That way you'll get a link to a list of helpful information and we will keep that up throughout the entire show.